Hi, my name is Matt Ross. I'm uh, back here, uh, and I work on the user experience of Fennec, which is Firefox for mobile devices. I have an alpha version of Fennec running on this Nokia N810, so I'm going to give you a quick tour of the Fennec user interface. Let's switch to full screen mode. Fennec was designed around two fundamental ideas. First, getting controls out of the way so as to dedicate as much screen space as possible to web content. And second, minimizing typing wherever possible. You'll see how these two emerge as we go through the user interface. To go to a site in Fennec, if you've got a page bookmarked, you can tap on the bookmark button and get a full list of all your bookmarks. But if you want to go somewhere new, somewhere where you'd have to enter a web address or initiate a search, you tap on the title bar. Already, Fennec is trying to minimize typing for you by listing for you sites that you go to frequently or have been to recently or some combination of the two, some of them marked as being bookmarks. This is similar to the Firefox Awesome Bar, but here it shows up before you've even begun to type. If the site you want is in this list, you can just tap on it, as I'm going to here with Juice for Life, and it'll load. If the site you want isn't there, you can start to type, and our suggestions will improve as you enter uh, letters. So clearly I can go to a site. What you may have noticed from that navigation screen was in addition to going to a specific website as listed, we also have a search bar along the bottom, in this case with Google, Yahoo, Amazon, Answers, and so on. We'll have Wikipedia and others here as we go. Um, rather than going to a site just to do a search, say I'm out and I want to show some friends a picture of a fennec fox, I can just deploy my keyboard. type fennec, and then in this case tap the Google button. The search goes off, and there we have pictures of fennec foxes, and they're adorable. Now, as I start to use this page to see some more results maybe, I start to pan down. I can double tap to zoom into a section and double tap again to zoom back out. You'll notice that the title bar scrolled off the top of the screen, leaving the entire screen for web content. Now, you might be wondering how, where are controls for the page? Well, in the same way that you can pan around the page, we've decided to put controls just off the page. You can pan just past the page edge, and there are your controls. This is based on a concept you may have seen before in a Mozilla Labs video. We have back and forward, a bookmark button, some space for things to come, and something I'll get into in a minute. And similarly, panning off the other side of the page reveals our tabs, what, the one we're on right now, some others that are open, and a button to open some new tabs. Now, in addition to these new interface methods of dealing with web pages, there's a lot in Fennec that's familiar from Firefox. Things like seeing web identity. There we go. Or password management or pop-up blocking. There are also things like browser preferences that will be familiar. For example, installing and working with add-ons. This UI was going to be revised. Managing downloads and changing how, Fire, how Fennec behaves through setting uh, preferences. So Fennec is still a work in progress. It's an alpha version. Please download it and give it a try. Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.